Welcome to the dimension of imagination, where ordinary stories take extraordinary turns. The Twilight Zone, a groundbreaking TV series that debuted in 1959, transcended the boundaries of conventional storytelling, offering viewers a journey into the mysterious and thought-provoking. Have you ever pondered the profound impact of this iconic show on your life? Perhaps there's a favorite role that resonated with you among the myriad characters introduced in its episodes. Share your personal reflections in the comments below. Now, let's delve into the allure of the Twilight Zone. Imagine a realm where reality blurs with the unknown, where the bizarre becomes familiar. Rod Serling, the creator and narrator, led audiences through tales that challenged perceptions and ignited contemplation. With its unique blend of science fiction, fantasy, and psychological drama, the show became a cultural touchstone, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television. As we celebrate the one-year anniversary of our engagement with The Twilight Zone, we invite you to reminisce. What cherished memory or personal experience do you hold close to your heart in connection to this timeless series? We're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Unlock the door to imagination where reality bends and the unexpected awaits. The Twilight Zone, a journey that continues to captivate minds and spark conversations on your strong. Rod Serling, the creator of The Twilight Zone, initially believed he coined the term himself. However, after the show aired, he discovered that U.S. Air Force pilots already used The Twilight Zone to describe the border between day and night. Despite this, the series went on to become iconic. In season one, introduced by Serling's narration, almost all the male characters were specified to be 36 years old. This distinctive detail reflected Serling's deliberate storytelling choices and added a unique touch to the show's characters. Serling's choice for the narrator, Richard Egan, was hindered by strict studio contracts. Despite wanting Egan for his rich voice, Serling faced a dilemma. Eventually, he resolved it by insisting, it's Richard Egan or no one. It's Richard Egan or I'll do the thing myself. As a result, Serling took on the narration duties, contributing to the show's unmistakable atmosphere. These aspects highlight the intriguing origins and meticulous decisions that shaped the Twilight Zone, setting the stage for its enduring impact on television and popular culture. On May 11, 2018, CBS highlighted the 10 most terrifying episodes of The Twilight Zone, a classic series that captivated audiences in its 1959 debut. These episodes, ranging from the chilling nightmare at 20,000 feet to the eerie It's a Good Life, showcase the timeless appeal of Rod Serling's creation. Notably, the phrase submitted for your approval, synonymous with Serling's opening narration, echoes in only three episodes, Cavender is Coming, in praise of Pip, and a kind of a stopwatch. This rare usage adds a mysterious layer to the show's narrative. The show's format also evolved, with episodes in seasons 1, 2, 3, and 5 lasting 30 minutes. However, a shift in CBS time slot strategy led season 4 to feature one-hour episodes, a departure from the established norm. These facets provide a glimpse into the Twilight Zone's varied landscape, where Serling's storytelling prowess and the series' adaptability contributed to its enduring impact on television and popular culture. The carefully selected terrifying episodes and the nuanced use of iconic phrases exemplify the show's ability to captivate audiences across decades. Ranked number 8 in TV Guide's list of the 25 top cult shows ever, The Twilight Zone made a lasting impact on television. Its unique blend of suspenseful storytelling and thought-provoking themes captivated both critics and the public. Rod Serling, the mastermind behind the series, introduced phrases like submitted for your approval and even coined the term fifth dimension in response to a question from CBS executive William Self. This phrase became a signature element in the opening narration of season one. Despite its success, Serling's subsequent projects, including Night Gallery, couldn't replicate the same level of influence. The Twilight Zone's legacy endures, cementing its status as a landmark in television history. Due to budget constraints in its second season, The Twilight Zone experimented with shooting some episodes on videotape rather than film. This decision, driven by cost-cutting measures, posed challenges as videotape editing was nearly impossible at the time. 
Consequently, each of the six episodes was camera cut on a studio soundstage using four cameras, resembling live television production. This shift limited location shooting and impacted the potential scope of storylines. The six videotaped episodes included titles like The Lateness of the Hour and 22, later transferred to film for broadcast, saving producers around $5,000 per episode. Despite cost savings, the limitations of using videotape led the network to revert to film for the remainder of the series. This behind-the-scenes experiment sheds light on the practical challenges faced by the iconic show, showcasing its commitment to innovation and adaptation. In the realm of the Twilight Zone, Rod Serling, the mastermind behind the series, had his share of candid assessments. He openly admitted that, in his view, around a third of the episodes were pretty good, another third were passable, and the remaining third were, in his own words, dogs. Interestingly, Serling, in a unique move, invited viewers to contribute scripts to the show. However, out of over 14,000 submissions, only two managed to meet his standards, and unfortunately, they didn't align with the format of the series. During the iconic introductions, keen-eyed viewers might have noticed Serling often holding a cigarette. This was no mere habit, it was a result of sponsorship ties. Liggett and Myers, a tobacco company, sponsored the show, and Serling served as an on-screen spokesman for their product, Chesterfield Cigarettes, during the Tune In Next Week segment. Later, the American Tobacco Company insisted that Serling always be seen with a cigarette, even though he declined to promote their specific brand on screen. These intriguing behind-the-scenes glimpses shed light on Serling's straightforward evaluations, the interactive nature of script submissions, and the influence of sponsors on the show's presentation. They add another layer to the complex tapestry that is The Twilight Zone, a series that continues to captivate audiences across time. Rod Serling, the prolific creator of The Twilight Zone, penned an impressive 92 out of the total 156 episodes in the original series. His writing prowess not only shaped the narrative landscape, but also contributed significantly to the show's enduring legacy. Serling's ability to craft compelling and thought-provoking stories played a pivotal role in captivating audiences across the show's five seasons. In addition to Serling's central role, Robert McCord stands out as the only actor to appear in all five seasons. This continuity, along with notable appearances by actors like Jack Klugman, John Anderson, John Lormer, and Vaughn Taylor, adds an interesting layer to the series. These actors, each contributing to multiple seasons, became integral to the fabric of The Twilight Zone. Beyond the screen, The Twilight Zone's influence extended to unconventional mediums. A comic book version featuring Rod Serling as its artistic host continued its run until 1982, seven years after Serling's passing. This unexpected and prolonged adaptation showcases the enduring impact of the Twilight Zone, transcending traditional television boundaries. In exploring the show's cast, writing contributions, and unconventional adaptations, it becomes evident that the Twilight Zone, with its blend of creativity and innovation, remains a cornerstone in the realm of classic television. As we bid adieu to this exploration through the enigmatic realms of the Twilight Zone, let the echoes of Rod Serling's narratives linger in the corridors of your imagination. Just as each episode unfolded a tapestry of peculiar dimensions and moral quandaries, I invite you to reflect upon your own journey through the shadowy recesses of this timeless 1959 TV series. Perhaps you found solace in the eerily familiar, or maybe the unfamiliar unearthed dormant musings within. The beauty of the Twilight Zone lies not only in its uncanny tales, but in its ability to mirror the myriad facets of the human experience. As you step out of this dimension and back into the ordinary, carry with you the residue of those extraordinary stories that nudge the boundaries of reality. Now, my fellow traveler, it's your turn to share. What twists of fate and unforeseen turns of logic have left an indelible mark on your psyche? Were you enthralled by the surreal landscapes painted by Serling's pen, or did a particular episode serve as a mirror reflecting the uncanny aspects of your own reality? In the spirit of shared exploration, let the comments section below become a gathering place for the aficionados of imagination. Share your thoughts, anecdotes, and cherished moments from the Twilight Zone. Connect with fellow wanderers who, like you, have been touched by the peculiar charm woven into each episode. Thank you for embarking on this odyssey through the extraordinary and the inexplicable. 
Your presence has added another layer to the rich tapestry of the Twilight Zone. Until our paths cross again in the mysterious realms of storytelling, keep your mind open, your senses sharp, and your curiosity aflame.